channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution also turn on my post notifications so you know every single time I post make sure that you follow me on Instagram because that is honestly where we get the most engagement and whenever I want people's opinions on videos or video ideas I always ask a poll on Instagram and you definitely want to be a part of that so today's video I'm gonna be talking about annoying things Americans say oh my days guys ha let me tell you guys a quick story time before I get into this video so this one time I had a professor a whole professor you know PhD a doctor guys asked me hey Benita where are you from and I said oh I'm from South Africa and he was like oh what country and I said South Africa and he was like yeah I know you're from the South of Africa but what country are you from hey! genuine chat there are people who don't know that South Africa is a country which is interesting because everyone says ah you know Mandela Johannesburg Cape Town but then when it's time for South Africa to be a country the chats are dicey I don't know man but let's get into life in America Living in America has been such an interesting and beautiful experience because honestly people are so intrigued and they want to know more but sometimes the questions that they're asking I believe people should always ask questions if you want to know ask but yo some of the questions Questions we begin sometimes really grind my intestines y'all so without any further ado let's get going the first thing that I want to talk about that really annoys me it gives me a headache it hits me yeah right here you see here right here is when Americans ask me <clears throat> Benita why do you speak such good English Jesus is love oh yeah look at you look at you like why on this good earth should I not be able to speak English? I really feel like the question is rooted in the American belief that Africans don't speak English. If you watch my video, how much Americans know about Africa, if you ask them the languages, somebody actually said Shaka Zulu and they said like dead ass you know so i feel like it's rooted in the american belief that africa is just this rural place where we don't have electricity and we don't have high-rise buildings and animals are roaming all over the place and you know what i mean i find that really frustrating so let me clear it up right now i speak english because i learn english at school probably just like you i also speak english at home with my family i do however speak a bunch of other languages because in south africa we have 11 official languages and one of the languages we learn at school is Afrikaans versus in America where you learn Spanish in school and I speak Tsonga because I am a Tsonga woman that is my tribe but when you're living in South Africa you make friends with people who have all sorts of tribes and thus you learn to speak their languages and that's just the way of life but seriously that question is so annoying please stop asking us why we speak English it actually really is offensive because I don't know are you expecting me to be lesser than you do you think I don't get education like you we have really good education we speak English we do business in English the next thing that I find super annoying is when they ask how do you know so much about America you must understand that America is a world power a world leader a superpower a first world country you need to understand the power of American media being famous in South Africa does not necessarily guarantee you worldwide fame but being famous in America means you're famous in the world what am I trying to say here we listen to American music we listen to Travis Scott and Beyonce and uh, who else like whoever your celebrities are Drake Rihanna yeah bruv we listen to them too we watch love and hip-hop too we watch Madea movies and Tyler Perry movies we know about American stuff first of all because we learn it in school and it's all over our media and also guys we do have Instagram we do have Twitter we do have the internet and thus we are able to learn about American things and speaking of what we know about America we also know that you guys are killing black people left right and center and when it was time for me to move to America I was actually very reluctant and I really didn't want to move here because I was like I'm black I'm a black woman and I don't want to go to America and be shot or be treated like a criminal purely because of the color of my skin it's really scary going to America especially as a black woman because I mean, we all know, hands up, don't shoot, I can't breathe, you know? 
We, all over the world, we hear about black people being killed in America. We read about the immigrant children being held in cages in America. In America, we do see you and all your racism. The next statement, this statement, I don't know man, this statement really just annoys me. Like it really, really does annoy me. I think it was Lisa Ray who went on a, who went on TV and told people she's the queen of Ghana. You went from first lady of the Turks and the Caicos mm -hmm. and now you're the queen of Ghana? Queen mother of Ghana. Okay. Yeah. Why the f you lying? You'll hear a lot of black Americans say, We just gotta go back to Africa, man, so we can be kings and queens in Africa. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. I really hate to be the one to burst your bubble. Like, I'm really sorry to be the one to do this. But you are not a king or a queen in Africa. And if you move to Africa right now, trust me, you will not be royal. I mean, of course, there were some of you where through slavery and stuff like that, maybe you do come from a royal tribe or you have royal lineage, but this idea that Americans have, black Americans, brown Americans, that every single black and brown person is royal in Africa is untrue. Because baby, if it was true, that means I would be royal, okay? I would have a palace. I would have lots of money, lots of cars. I would like, my drip game, my drip would be, listen, bruv, unbelievable. Hey? Like, listen guys, you guys are not ready for me to afford to be who I really am. But why can I not afford to be who I really am? Because I'm not royal. I'm regular. And you probably will be regular too. But seriously guys, you being black or brown does not guarantee you royalty in Africa or any kind of special treatment. Only thing special really is the American currency. Like if you move to South Africa, man, your dollars, whoo, they're gonna speak over there because of the economy and the exchange rate. The next thing that Americans do that is super annoying, I cannot make this up, again, go check out my How Much Do Americans Know About Africa video, where sometimes they'll ask you, Hey, you know how to speak that language? You know, can you do that? Guys, that is so rude, that is so annoying. Don't come to me and say, hey, do you know how to... Listen, Google is your friend. If you want to know what the language is, at least make an effort to search for it and ask me properly about it instead of coming to my face and making weird clicks that I don't even understand. But just in case you want me to clear it up, no, I do not speak. The next thing that I found super annoying is, oh my days, oh my days, oh my days. Americans love teasing my accent or African accents. And honestly, it's not funny. Let me be honest, like they do it as a joke to be funny, but it's honestly not funny. You'll hear them make this Michael Blackson accent, you know, look at you, you are. And it's, it's not funny. To put it simply, it's not funny. It's rude and it's degrading. Like there are people who try to mimic my accent and honestly guys, I know I do not sound like this. But when they try mimic me, they'll be like, my name is Benita, I am from Africa. Like, I know, baby, I know I do not sound like that. It's honestly very offensive. That's something that Americans do that I really, really do hate. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. And now, a message from our sponsors, Drink Water Kids. It is normal. Is this an ad? No, but honestly, I've seen it on TV and I've really been curious to try just water. I want to see if it tastes like, you know, just water or does it taste special? It has a little bit of an aftertaste, a little bit of, you know, but it tastes normal, regular water. But hey, now my curiosity has been quenched. The next thing that Americans say that I find super annoying is being like, Hey, Benita, is this like your first time around white people? How does it feel to see someone like me? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Are you normal? Are you normal? I find that question so annoying. Is this my first time being around white people and what is it like? It must be such a cultural shock of white people. Well, have you ever heard of apartheid? South Africa had apartheid, guys. What do you think Mandela is known for? As soon as you say South Africa, Americans will always be like, oh, Mandela? Like, how can you say Mandela? And then proceed to ask me, do I know what it's like to have white people? Hello, apartheid. 
Hello, guys. Yes. I am used to being around white people. South Africa has plenty of white people, a lot of them, guys, honestly. Except, unlike America, white people are the minority and black people the majority, versus America, where white people are the majority and brown people are the minority. This one is a common one, I'm sure you guys have heard it before, but this thing of Americans asking you, hey, where are you from? And you're like, oh, I'm from South Africa. And they're like, oh, that's great. I know a friend in Libya. I know a friend in Ghana. I know a friend in Kenya. Okay. Why is it even my business that you know someone from Ghana? Like, okay, cool. That's like meeting a Chinese person and they're like, oh, I'm Chinese. And they're like, oh, I know a Japanese person. Like, okay, cool. And so, what must happen? Should we clap for you, you know? That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. Any videos that you wanna see about my life in America, or just overall, comment down below, and I'll definitely try and make it happen for you. Peace and love, guys.